Let's go for Mike. This is my second eco hack. Um, really exciting. Last year was so great. I had some great friends uh, with uh, Denton and I'm the founder of Rainforest Connection. Um, basically, we uh, use real time data to protect the forest. Uh, this all started because uh, I got out in the forest and I saw that, in fact, there is no real time data to know when trees are being cut. In fact, 15 90 percent of rainforest logging is done in the rainforest is, uh, is fact illegal, which means that if we can actually cut uh, just the illegal logging, which there is a mandate to do, we can actually reduce something that uh, is in fact the old past. We're going to go for it. So, real time data is key. Basically, real time data is, uh, is what makes it possible uh, for us to actually stop loggers uh, being a track, essentially. We have real time data that can actually show up on the spot and stop them. Um, here we go. There's no sound. <laughs> if a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Here we go. Oh, oh boy! I'm fine! Everybody look out! Ah! <laughs> so we can't actually know when they fall down. But chainsaws, in fact, do uh, make a lot of noise when they are done. And that noise is actually very easy to pick out, even of the loud sounds of the, uh, of the forest. You can sort of hear the chainsaw. That's sort of like what it was for. So in fact, what we do is use old smartphones. We put them up in trees. Uh, this is them in a box. We put them up. They're powered with solar panels. And listen to the sounds of the forest. And actually, uh, pick up the sound of the chainsaw. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's sort of the type of thing you guys can easily imagine what I'm doing. So here's how it works. A chainsaw gets uh, started, our phones pick up the sound, they transmit it to an API, because there is actually a cell phone service out there, and it sends an alert to these uh, people, the, the authorities, who can actually go and stop the logging in the act. So um, this whole system is pretty fast, it's supposed to be real time, it happens in a few minutes. Uh, as you saw, we built the hardware, um, and in fact, uh, it can hear sounds up to a kilometer in the distance. So chainsaws really do carry, you saw the signatures. Um, it actually it works. So, uh, smartphones are a, a great shortcut because, as you know, they're, they're cheap, they're free. Android phones are cheap and free, old iPhones are expensive. Open source and stable, uh, SDK, uh, they're very power efficient, although that's an issue as well. Uh, and in the infrastructure, there actually is cell phone coverage in the jungle. Uh, and so, basically, use what's there. So, we use old, um, old solar panel fragments that come from, from rooftop panels that aren't being used. We put them up, this is actually where the device looks like. You saw me build one. And we're able to use it, sorry, there. Enforcement and the um, and the hardware. So you know, does it work, right? So we took it out to Indonesia. I took it out to Indonesia. Uh, to a given, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and tested it um, there in a place that's actually threatened daily by illegal logging. As you can see here, this was just cut down. The gibbons are just so close. And in fact, on the second day, we headed up there. Um, we picked up some chainsaws. We showed up. And we actually caught some illegal loggers uh, in the act. Great guys, but we caught them from, <laughs> from uh, doing illegal logging. And it actually worked. So that was pretty exciting. Um, in fact, I got an email on my phone that said, so basically it works, yay, but, so we have the hardware built, we sell the hardware, the software actually works, we can pick up that, we have a cloud API that extends to, but, we are now in a situation where um, it works so well that uh, I'm supposed to take it out to Cameroon, to a legal logging Cameroon, uh, and uh, also to Brazil, and a place here in California to, to fight against uh, redwood logging, but in fact, we still have to build a client app, because in fact, uh, no one else wants to interpret the data, or these emails that I get as well. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do, if you can, uh, help me, is to basically build one of these two client applications. It can be a smartphone version, um, which still has to be pretty basic, because we're dealing with people um, who aren't used to these, you know, a lot of bandwidth. Or, it, it, in place of that, we build a dumb phone like SMS, uh, or at least they get SMS alerts. The smartphone app, these are some of our, you know, ideas. <laughs> this, one, this one sort of works. The API is there. We get alerts, uh, they come to me via email. We'd like to be able to send push alerts if it was a smartphone, audio playback, so that these people uh, in the field, these rangers, or you, anywhere, can actually listen to the sounds of the rainforest and the chainsaws, basically any sounds. It's recording all the sounds from the rainforest in real time, so you can stream sound from the rainforest. The graphical interface, so the language is not an issue, uh, and maybe, you know, maps. That could be something we could do. And then, um, versus that, a dumb phone app, which is basically just an SMS that says, there's a sound detected here. It'd be great if they could maybe call in and sort of confirm whether it's true. Or better yet, just sort of uh, SMS back and forth. I'm sure you guys know this interface, but it's like, is this true? They'll respond with an SMS that says yes, no, uh, like that. Um, they usually have GPS out in the field in Cameroon, so um, this is where we're going uh, in about five weeks or so. So if you help us build this, this will be on the ground in Cameroon, helping people talk to the water in, the, uh, in Cameroon there. So hey, rainforest plus eco hack equals stop the water. <laughs> <laughs>